Hi, this is Donny Miss 333. What if I told you that the Apostle Peter knew about the pandemic and about this? It's in the scriptures, but it's said in not so many words. And not only did he know about it, but he knew it's going to happen around the time that the Lord is coming back. Okay, this is 1 Peter um, chapter 2 verse 11 and 12 this is what it, this is what it reads beloved i urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passion of the flesh now the passion of the flesh is referring to is uh, fornication adultery you know that's what he's referring to there the passion of the flesh which war against your soul keep your conduct among the gentiles honorable so we know that marriage is honorable so he's telling people avoid passion of the flesh keep your conduct honorable marriage is honorable so that's what he's referring to there so that when they speak against you as evil doers they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. Now, when you read that, you don't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually make much sense until you realize that the day of visitation that they're referring to is the Lord's coming. But notice what he says there. He says, so that when they speak against you as evil doers so around the time that because don't forget they were expecting the messiah to come in their lifetime so so whatever they say is prophetic because it didn't happen in their lifetime it's happening in our lifetime you see so it says when they um so that when they speak against you as evil doers how can people that love god that's supposed to love everybody how can they become evil doers? I mean, isn't that what's happening right now? Um, those that refuse to receive the... Hmm, aren't we uh, being referred to as not caring? You know, you don't love your, uh, your colleagues, you don't love your parents, you know? You're not keeping people safe if you don't take this. Hmm? Isn't it evil to... to um not to take that is that, is that not what they're saying so we have become evil doers i mean let me just read this i mean now people are being thrown out of their they're being threatened with eviction i mean this is i'm just going to read this is a, a letter that a tenant got from the the landlord um this is in the states uh, it reads this as an employer we want to confirm that your health and safety is important to us i won't use the word uh, but c has also taught us that if one person gets sick it can quickly affect others around him or her and even more care is required when persons are staying closely together it has been proven that um taking this is a positive way to reduce the risk of either getting very sick from alternatively spreading it further to manage the risk it has been decided that all who wishing to stay at the barracks must be must be by the 31st of august 2021 we respect your choice to decide whether you want to be or not. But should you de decline to be, we have unfortunately no alternative but to terminate your lease agreement effectively from the 1st of September 2021. You see, you see, so you're evil. We cannot allow these evil people to stay with us. Hmm? So we need to get rid of them. 
No, we don't want them in our houses. We don't want them in, in, you know, we don't want them to have jobs. They can't work with us. We don't want them in our cafes. We don't want them in our restaurants. We don't want them in our pubs. We don't want them in our stadiums because they are evil. We need to get rid of them. We don't even want them in our churches. You know, now in, in, uh, in uh, Down Under, for you to go to church, you've got to scan your card that you've taken the, to go to church. You can't even take communion unless you've taken this. So we don't want you in our churches. We don't want you traveling. We don't want you in our families. We want you out. We're going to lock you out because you are evil. You don't care about us. That's what they're telling us. This is what the world has become. You see, and so this is what uh, Peter is saying. He knew, well, by the Spirit of God, he knew that. So when they speak against you as evil doers, they may see your good deeds. Now, what are the good deeds that they're going to be seeing? Preaching the gospel, telling people about the Lord's coming, mm? living, you know, according to the scriptures, keeping the Lord's commandments. So they're going to see, on one hand, you're evil because you don't take this. But on the other hand, you, are, you love the Lord. You, you love his word. You're, you're obeying his word. You love the Lord more than you love yourself and more than you, you love the world. So it says, and, and they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of visitation. Which means that the penny will drop. When the rapture takes place and the Christians that refuse to take this are taken. And then many will realize that the people that they called evil, that they, that they refer to as they don't care about us because they're not taking this, are actually the good people. And many eyes will open. That's why I say that they glorify God. Not everyone is going to glorify God, but many people who will be left behind because they took this, will repent and they will glorify God. That's the day of visitation. The day of visitation is the day that the Lord comes for his people. As you know, I've already done a video about um, expecting the Lord to come for us on the true day of Pentecost, which is the 19th of September. That's the day of visitation. That's the day that those who refuse this will be vindicated because everyone the elect will not take it. Those who love Jesus will not take it. Even though we are being referred to as evil doers because we, are, we don't, uh, according to them, we don't care about them. We are putting them in danger because we don't take it. And, um, but the Lord is going to come for us. And then many, many people are going to repent because they're going to realize that taking it is, taking that this, is the mark of the beast. And they're going to realize, I mean, they're going to repent. You see? So, my brothers and sisters, it's just a, a quick word there. Have a great day.